My fingers are exhausted. 2024 Topps Chrome UFC. Here we go. Product launch. We did 17 hobby boxes last night. That's a lot of ripping and we hit some uh, huge, huge rips. Um, a few one of ones and some amazing signatures as well. Give you guys a product overview of all the inserts, the ratios. Uh, it's going to be a really good one. I'm not going to save you guys the actual me ripping you know, hundreds and hundreds of boxes open, um, but we're going to post what we got and the ratios. And there's some cool cards in here, man. Really cool cards. I don't think you're going to find a better overview of this particular product uh, on YouTube right now if you're looking to collect. So stay tuned, like, subscribe. Let's get into it. Yeah. All right, team. Moment of truth is here. Let's start breaking down the ratios. Let's start breaking down what you can expect. After ripping 17 hobby boxes, uh, 204 packs, a lot of ripping, right? What I wanted to do is I want to give you a brief overview of the ratios of cards, how common they are. We're going to start with those with the inserts. Then we're going to go through the rookie cards that we pulled because by then you're going to have a clear understanding of how frequently you can pull them. And then we're going to finish the finale with the case hits, right? These are the super rare run, uh, ones, which we hit some really cool ones. And then we're going to finish with the SIGs um, and the big, big cards I think we pulled out of these 17 hobby boxes. So let's get started. So it's 200 base cards right and in every base you're going to pull what they call the refractor you're going to pull um the prism which shout out to uh panini prism they ripped it although they didn't spell it zm like panini does they spelled it sm but if you are familiar with that product it looks exactly like the panini prism hypers okay so anyway let's go through this is going to be the most common card um, that you're going to pull when you open these boxes, right? And you got a chance, everyone's going to come with an insert. More than likely, right, if you buy a pack, you're probably going to get a refractor or you're going to get one of the common insert cards. We'll go through all the ratios here. So these ratios here are one through three, right? Meaning per pack, per three packs, you're going to pull one, right? And here what, here's what they look like. You can see they're nice and sparkly. Um, and you can, did tell they're going to say refractor on them, right? Right. So there's a little bit of a price point. They're going to sell for a little bit more than your common base cards, which I literally have hundreds of uh, all through over my floor, right? Um, so that's a kind of a good example. We probably, honestly, I probably have every refractor just because of the cases. Um, that I kind of opened. And again, none of these are rookies, um, right? So these are just kind of what you would expect. Um, see how they have a nice little rainbow sheen on them. What you would expect out of the refractor series. I'm not going to spend so much, too much time on those. Um, I think it's fairly straightforward, right? Fairly, fairly straightforward. And um, if you're new to the, the, the collecting, whether it be any sport, um, let's see if I can just pull. Sorry about that, guys. So this is a regular card. All right, that's a Robbie Lawler. There's your refractor. Straight away, you look under the right light. One's got rainbow, one doesn't. Dead giveaway. If you're unsure, check the back. Refractor. Okay, so hang on to those ones. Okay, so the ratio on those, one to three. Let's move on to the next ones. Now, this is where it gets... I was kind of confused at first because if you look at the base list, um, there are reds and there are blacks and the reds are super, 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 super rare. The magentas, on the other hand, which is what they call these ones, are not. These are the same ratio as the refractors. So if you like for me, I pop these open, I'm like, oh my God, I just hit two reds. No, they're magentas. You're going to know if you get a red. And just to put that in perspective, the reds and the blacks, which are the super rare ones, I didn't get any out of the 17 hobby boxes that I ripped. Got a couple of oranges, 
Um, and in the end of the video, we got a one of one, which was nuts. Um, and we got a couple of really amazing signatures, super low numbered. So I'm very excited to show you guys those. But let's not jump ahead of ourselves. So these are the magenta packs. And again, it's part of the base, right? So you're going to get this color um, as part of all the base, right? Every base is going to have one of these colors. Again, none of these are rookies. I wanted to break the rookies out just so you guys and girls could have kind of a clear understanding of what the rookies in the pack look like. And I must say, I am disappointed with the rookie lineup in the tops uh, 24. I think last year we had a lot of like really amazing rookies, right? Uh, the Rosses Juniors, the Bo Nichols, um, the Aarons, uh, you know, the Tetsuras, right? All on the hit list. I've got to learn who the rookies are that we kind of want here. Um, and then any UFC fans, drop a comment. Like, who are the rookies that we're kind of looking for in 2024 um, space? So these are the next ones. These are the same ratios. These are one and three. Um, and these are kind of the, forget the name of them, uh, to be honest, probably should have known that. I think they're the negatives, right? So, and all that means is, as you can see, they're in black and white. And again, I'm not going to go through them all because we pulled so many. Um, the chances of you getting these are one in every three packs. Okay. So we've gone over the magentas, gone over the refractors, we've gone over the negatives. Let's take a step up. These are one and fours. Okay, so these are our purples. Um, and the difference really on the ratio between the magentas and the purples is not a lot. It's one, right? So same thing. All the base are going to have, what's up, Khabib? Retired too early, come back. Um, they're all going to have, you know, the same base card. Mackenzie Dern, love her. Um, yeah, so there's your purples. Uh, Brandon Babyface Moreno, the Baby Assassin. So those are one in four, right? So if you pull one of those, a little bit higher value than the magenta. Okay, so now we're going to get into our prisms. Now the prism ratio is one to six. Every six packs you open, you should expect one of these. Um, and straight away, you're going to be able to tell the difference here. And we'll use um, a regular card versus the prism card, right? See, so notice those squares on the side did give away that you've pulled a prism. Now on the back, it's confusing because it won't say refractor either. So another cool way to tell Take a refractor, take a prism. You've noticed it's got the, uh, that rainbow sheen on them. Refractor is going to say refractor. The other one's not going to say anything. These are more highly sought after. Beautiful card, Aaron, my girl. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see this one or not, but I'm going I'm to brag. Quick brag real quick. It's an on-sig, three of three, Moki, uh, memorabilia, uh, autographs, game worn. Three of three, baby. So stoked. That was from the uh, Immaculate Collection, which is a much higher price point, uh, obviously, than the cards they're reviewing. But anyway, I'll stop bragging on that one. I was super stoked to get that. Okay. So that is your prisms. And again, we won't go through them all. Um, but yeah, I mean, these are, these are really pretty cards. Obviously, somebody at Tops was looking at the um, Panini Prism line and was like, those Hyper Prisms, let's steal that. Let's go ahead and steal that. Okay, so one and sixes. Now that's really it for um, the more confusing product, in my opinion, okay? So now we're gonna get into the numbered, then we'll get into the rookie cards. Now the numbers are easy, right? Because the numbers, are gonna have the numbers on the cards, duh, just like kind of any sport, right? So we're gonna start with the more common one first. So the ratio on these ones is one to 10. Excuse my little cheat sheet stickers here. They just help me because there's so many cards, right? And then straight away, you're gonna notice Dan on the hangman hooker here. This is labeled slash 299. So when you see a number on a card, 
you know that's limited, right? There's only 299 variations of these. Again, this isn't super rare, one in 10, um, but we got some cool ones, man. Pereira, Tafa, uh, let's see who else. Um, Shichenko, uh, Miles Johns, Jake Hadley, who's actually a rookie. I'm not sure why he was in there. Uh, Damon Blackshear is another rookie. Um, so yeah, uh, Rachmanov, absolute beast, slash 299 of him. Jake Hadley, another rookie. Yeri, okay, so I've mixed in some rookie cards here, but oh, below that, that, that kind of gives you a dead giveaway. Love that photo, Josh Emmett. Um, yeah, you see this nice little sparkle sheen here. Um, nice little kind of like speckles. Look for the number, 299, easy. Okay. Getting into the more rarer ones now. These are the aqua. So the aqua ratio. One in every 14 pack. One in every 14 packs. And these are uh, labeled 1 through 99. Okay. So it's probably where you want your rookies. Um, Yet on Song, who's obviously not a rookie, but I'm a big fan of his. Big loss last week, though. And we didn't really luck out too much. Kevin Cater, I guess, good one. Uh, that's another rookie uh, that, I that I forgot to take out of there. All right. So that's one to 14. So you do have some chances to hit some numbered cards, right? It's just the lower numbers that you probably want. Um, let's get into our blues. The blues are one through 19. So as the rarity of the card, the scarcity of the card goes higher, number could drop slower, obviously. It's kind of, you know, rookie card, uh, card collecting 101, and these are slash 150s. Oh, I've got a Gilbert Burns, Sean Strickland, Kazmat, absolute monster, um, Schnell, Krillo Rauchy Jr., who is, I'm, a, I'm a huge, huge fan on. You should uh, follow him on social media. The guy's like a world traveler. Johnny Bone Jones, greatest of all time. Um, Jessica Andrade. We sneaked in a 75 there, which is a lower ratio. Um, yeah. Those are those. Now, this one's actually lower than that. So we're going to put that in the blue wave. Greens. Let's move on. These are numbered slash 99. So now we're getting into the more rare cards, right? Chances of hitting these. 28 packs. Hopefully you'd pull one. We got the spider. Silver. You can see there the 99. Uh, two actually spiders. That's kind of cool. Goat. Johnny Bones. Gastelum. And uh, Neil Magny. Next one, these are the blue waves. So now we're really getting down to you got a chance every 37 packs you open. Hopefully, you hit one of these. We got a Holly Holm here. You can see the slash 75. Holly Holm, uh, Lipsky, Paul Craig, uh, Rachmanov, which I was super happy about getting. And then um, this rookie here, who honestly I'm not too familiar with. Was she cut from the UFC recently? I don't know. But some rookie cards being in there. Okay, now we get into the big ones. Now we get into the big ones. These are gold, right? So the chances of hitting these are one, 81 to 1. 1 to 81, right? So you got to pull 81 packs and hopefully you get a gold. We didn't really get a hit on this guy. Uh, 15, 15 through 50. However, we did get a hit on the Wei Li. Uh, 6 through 50 here, so that was pretty dope. Again, scarcity increases, the number goes lower, chances of you hitting. And this was really the only orange in the base that we pulled. And the ratio on here is 1 to 109. So you're going to open 109 packs. Hopefully you get an orange. This is what we call a, uh, I thought it was a bookend, meaning 25 of 25. It's 23 of 25. Um, and that's a Miles Johns, which, you know, cool. Wasn't too bad. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of a breakaway about the numbers, the different variants that are non-numbered and just how common they are. We'll get into the cool inserts now. 
First, I just wanted to guys, uh, guys and girls, give you a quick kind of rip on who we got on the rookies. Uh, we got a Diego Lopes, who I'm super happy about. That was actually a refractor, um, Porter, um, a uh, Bruno, which I was happy about as well. We actually got a prism um, of the Bruno as well. Um, Osborne, Bruno, lucking out on him. Uh, we got a Lucindio. Uh, we got a Gomez. I think that's how you pronounce his name is. Uh, this guy is super happy happy about Magnumedov. I think he's going to be really, really good. Um, Jake Hadley. Bigot. Another Jake Hadley. Another Bigot. Um, and by the way, the inserts, like I showed you. Um, so for example, the negatives, they will have rookie card variants as well. We've got another Diego there. Malcolm Gordon. I'm going to go through every single one here. Got a couple of purples. And then with the numbers that we got, we got a uh, Demon Black Chair, $299. Again, uh, Magnumetov, happy about that, slash $199. Uh, who else did we get? Malcolm Gordon to $150. Again, my boy Magnumetov to $150. Um, we got a Fimba Gorbino. Sorry, sometimes I butchered the names. Sorry about that. Um, and that's through 75, so that's not too bad. Um, and then the only kind of 99 we pulled is um, Kate. That's 99. So the rookie kind of base ones for opening 17 hobby boxes. We missed on on the base. However, we did not miss on on the signatures. Stay tuned because I think you guys are going to see some fire. Okay, let's go into the inserts. Now... The inserts for me in this series, some I love, some I thought were just terrible. And whoever made the decision to publish these um, probably shouldn't be in card designing. And by the way, all these inserts that you're going to see, there will be a refractor variant of them, which is going to be more rarer. Okay, so the first and most common one you're going to see is the tail of the tape. And I'm going to give you a perfect example um of the refractor versus the non-refractor and it's the same story with the base right see how one's shiny and rainbowy one's not you're gonna see right on the end there refractor okay so this is the tail of the tape the ratio of those are one to three the refractor is obviously a little bit higher but really it's just a picture of the fighter uh with all their kind of biometric stats on the back um not really a cool in my opinion, at least, not really a cool, uh, a cool insert to have because if you look at the back here on any card, um, it pretty much has their weight, right? Their height, country of origin. So I don't know. I think it was a waste of of an insert. That's just me. Again, there's a you're gonna pull one of those in every three packs. This is another one that I didn't like. 1954 series. Same ratio. One in every three packs. And these were just like, I don't know, there's something about them. I don't know why they're 1954. I guess it's kind of like the old, um, you know, collection where they kind of mural the portrait. And then they put a black and white photo of them. There are refractor versions of these two. And these span really the whole UFC as well, right? So you're going to get like the GSPs of the world. But you're also going to get like the Rich Franklins. Um, and there we go. There's a good example of... Again, just so my viewers are well informed, right? Refractor, non-refractor. Again, hold it up to the light. One's nice and rainbowy. Du Bronx. Dominic Cruz. Not so much. Okay, so those are the one and threes, 1954s. Again, those, in my opinion, two worst inserts. Now we get into some cool ones though. And this one's common, so I liked these. And these are the AKA series. So these are one and four, so you get a chance. Every four packs you pull, you're gonna get one. And basically it's just kind of the nickname, right? There we go. 
the spider refractor versus a non-refractor, same thing, right? Nice and shiny, not so shiny. You know if you've hit a refractor or not. And these got all your, these have all your, you know, marquee UFC players. Anybody who is somewhat versed in UFC are going to know who these players are, right? Anywhere from Izzy, Johnny, Tui, Korean Zombie, Shogun, Patty the Batty, Iceman, Thug Rose, right? The list kind of goes on. Nigeria Nightmare. So these ones were cool. I like these. I love I love the kind of smoke mosaic color colorway. Uh, Notorious. You know, those were cool. And to, to get one in every four packs, that was a win because the first two um, inserts, in my opinion, not so great. So I'm just trying to make a, a tower of cards here in the back. Okay, here's another cool one that I really like. These are the Super Giants. Ratio on these is 1 to 5. And uh, these are really kind of chronicling, you know, who are the stars of the UFC right now, right? So you got anywhere from your Sugar Shows uh, to your GSP. Well, I, okay, I just said that GSP is obviously retired. But again, like the really, really common names, Iron Eagle, Iceman, The Spider, etc 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 same thing you're going to see the refractors uh see refractor up there and again did give away same card hold it up one's going to be nice and rainbowy on the bottom one's not going to be so just be aware of that as you go through these knowing that the refractors are going to hold a little bit more weight in the value um, than the common inserts Okay. These were really the last common inserts that we had. And I like these ones too. So these are one and eight. And these are really chronicle um, international flair, right? UFC is an international sport. And these chronicle kind of where the fighters come from. Again, there's a refractor in it. You can tell the difference straight away between the Marvel and Vittori. Nice and shiny. One's nice and not. Be on the lookout for those. Um, but yeah, there's some really cool cards in here, man. Uh, you got the Vittori's, uh, you got the um, Evelov's, Uma, uh, Tom Aspinall, um, Rachmanov. So yeah, any kind of like in demand, um, Marion, you kind of like well-known-ish kind of fighter from a different country. They, they kind of chronicle the international player with the flag. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so you've hung with me this far. We've gone over the basic inserts. Now let's get into some fire. We're going to get into the case hits, um, and we are going to get into our really big hits, um, which I was super stoked about. So the first kind of case hits... Uh, we're going to get into here and these are one in 40 right so every 40 packs hopefully you get one and these are called the countdown series and i was only able to pull three of these excuse the dog hair on that card <laughs> uh, so we got the uh, nigerian nightmare and then our paul craig we actually got two of usman there so those are one through 40. next ones i liked these ones too these are 1 through 49 on the ratios. And these are the generation nows, right? So these are your Cookie Monsters, your Zhang Lees, your Jamal Hill, uh, your Alex uh, Pereira. And then, uh, unfortunately, Colby Covington, who I can't stand. Okay, next ones. These are the represents, and these are 1 through 60, right? So the rarity of these cards are going up. Um, we got a Khabib, stoked about that. Poirier, like his standing bang, and Dominant Cruz, eh, not so happy about him. Um, but these are these are rare cards. These are, see one of these, um, just know that that's a rare card, right? 1 in 60 chance per pack to hit one of those including the competition of all the other inserts there as well. Typically, you're only going to get one per two in insert per pack. Um, so I liked those. Okay, now we're coming to my favorite inserts. We only hit two of these, which I was bummed about. 
these are one in 72. Tip the Grasso, who I was so pleased about, huge fan of hers. Um, and then we hit the Johnny Bone Jones, the goat baby. So I love those. I love that we got two of those. Those are so. Okay. Next ones. Now these are one in 81 ratios. Now these are the Fists of Furies. So we got uh, um, the Dragon Mashita here. We got the Sugar Show. And then we got Anderson Silva. So we really hit on those ones, um, in my opinion. Just knowing how, how rare they are. And these, uh, believe it or not, do actually have a numbered variant of them as well, which are way more extremely rare. Didn't hit on any of those. But we did hit a couple on some of the case hits. Okay, next ones. These are the Fight Nights. These are ratio on these are 1 to 145. So we had a Mike Malott um, and the gas tank himself. Um, and these, I think what they do is they just, I think this is when the, either the fighter wins fight of the night or the, it's been a really good fight. Um, not sure why the ratio on these is so rare. I don't think it's my favorite kind of pack hit. Um, but we got some, which I can show you guys. So that was cool. Okay. Now we're getting into the cool stuff. We'll leave her for last. So remember when I was talking about the um, AKA series? So we did hit um, a gold variant of this. And this is one, uh, one through 50. And that's the GOAT, Johnny Bones Jones. And the chances of hitting that was one through 149 packs. That's cool, right? I love that a lot. Youth quakes. These were my favorite. Now, chances of hitting a youth quake are one in 120. And we got my girl, Erin, who I was super, super stoked about. Now, there are signed variants of these. They only go to 10. So if you get one of these and there's a signature on it, there's only 10 of those signatures. Spoiler alert, we hit two. And I'm going to show you those at the end of the video. Okay. We're in signatures and then we're done. Okay. So first signatures here, the ratio on these are one per 81 packs. And this is just a UFC signature card. We had a, a Yair um, and a Zalnan. Hopefully I'm pronouncing her name right, but I love her signature there. Love her signature there. So those were cool. Anytime you hit a one of uh, 81 ratio, that's uh, it's kind of good. Okay, now we're going to get into our main event autograph cards. And surprisingly or not, the ratio on these ones aren't too bad. For a signature card, what was that? One in every 38 packs. Uh, we pulled a Shevchenko here. This, so these are non-numbered, but still autos. I don't think Tops did any autographs on the card themselves. Right, so they're all going to be stickered autos, but that's not bad. Hit a Gilbert Burns. We hit a Grasso. Nice little heart there. And we hit uh, Colby Covington, who uh, I will sell to anybody for 25 cents. Okay, now we're going to go into the same variant. Only these ones are signed. Okay, so you notice it goes straight up. You've gone from one in 38 packs to one in 136 packs sugar show baby and that's through 150 stoked on him another shivchenko one through 50 stoked on her and one of my favorite fighters female fighters in the ufc without a doubt thug rose labeled one through 50 so i was so stoked uh, on those autograph cards that i got there Okay, there's a lot of different autographs vari variations. These ones are the veteran ones. So these are one per 61 packs you're going to get. We got Michael Chandler, two Michael Chandlers, in fact, um, and an Aldania as well. A little bit of a mess on that. Uh, okay, now we're going to go into the same variety, only these ones are numbered. 
the ratio on these are one per 282 packs. So you've got the Brandon Allen, that's one through 50. Michael Morales, what's up? One through 50, stoked about that. Raquel Pennington, one through 50. And we got a Jeremiah Hill, one through 50. So again, not bad signatures at all. We hit another one though, in this exact same line. Um, and the ratio on this one was one to every 4,023 packs. Um, and that was a Julia and Pena, just because it's a gold. And that's slash 50. So that was, I was stoked on that one as well. Okay. Told you guys there's a lot of signature variations here. Okay. Hall of Fame signatures. These are one in every 50 packs. We've got the Iceman himself, Chuck Liddell. Pretty cool. Now. Got another one, another variant. We got the 150 variety. Ratio on these are 1 through 185 packs. Uriah, I got a butch in Faber. 150. And then we actually did hit a slash 50 as well. Uh, gold edition. Um, that's through 50. And that's Rich Franklin. Pretty stoked about him. Huge, huge, uh, huge fan of him. Okay. Rookie cards. Rookie card signatures. These are one through 97. Meaning 97 packs, you're going to probably get one. We got the Osborne here. We got, and then we got two Demon Black shares. We'll see how those rooks pan out. Okay. But we hit more. We hit some numbered ratio on these. Every one to one, 431 packs you're going to get. Um, so we got the Pal, Palia. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Um, I have seen a few of his fights though. He's a monster. So that's a slash 50. Happy about that. And then we got the Shanlan. Uh, Shay. Shailan, I'm sorry, I pronounced those names wrong. Super cool signature, and that's a slash 150 as well. Um, and then we actually pulled a gold as well. Chances of us getting on that was 1 to 1,341. Then we got a Jake Hadley, uh, that's slash 50 there. So stoked about that. Now we're coming to what I feel was the highlights, for me at least. And you get, you guys are going to see why um, of these 17 hobby boxes we pulled. The first one are the future stars. We didn't get any numbered future stars on these. The ratio is actually surprisingly low on the chances of getting these. 116 packs. So every 116 packs, you may get one. Paddy the Baddy Baby, one of my favorite fighters. Follow him on social media. Absolutely hilarious. Tom Aspinall. And then I think my favorite, Paul Rosas Jr., I was so gutted when he had to pull out of the Mexico fight. Um, but that's dope, right? That's hot. Super stoked on that. Okay. Now, we're going to get into the marks of champion cards. And I have a feeling if you know the UFC, you're going to know who this is. Again, surprisingly low ratio on hitting these because it's unnumbered. One in every 62 packs, you're going to hit one of these. Who better than one of the goats himself? Khabib. Hit that. Check. Uh, where did I put him? Next one. This one's numbered through 150. Chances of getting this are one in every 189 packs. The goat herself, the lioness. Amanda Nunes, 150 beautiful and then i was debating like my top four cards we got four cards left my top four cards um this is going to be number three out of four for me chances of hitting this was one in every 1878 packs and this is a slash 25 islam market chef baby pound for pound best fighter in the world right now that is a sexy, sexy card. What's sexier? I don't know. 
But that Islam card, beautiful. Absolutely love it. Okay. I'm going to finish with, I'll finish with the highest ratio card just because, you know, but the youth quakes, remember I was talking about those, the Aaron that we pulled. So you can pull a signature variant of that. And there's only 10 per fighter in the world. Chances of hitting that are one in 4,030. And we hit two amazing fighters who I'm so happy about. We got Paul Ro uh, Rosses Jr. That's two of 10. Fire. And then one of my favorite fighters who I think is going to be huge. Tetsuro, baby. Number one of 10. Flames. Almost woke my house up when I opened that one. All right. And this leads us to the number one card that we pulled out of the 17 hobby boxes. The ratio of this card was 1 to 20,798. So you can guess what it is. It's a super fractor. It's a one of one. It's not the greatest. I'm a big fan of his. It's not the greatest card we could have pulled, but it's a Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. And hopefully you guys can see. I can zoom in. There's a one of one right there. Only card in existence there, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. One of one. What are the chances? Not a lot. I hope, I hope, I hope you guys found that video uh, informative. If you're a USC fan, you think about investing in the product. Overall, I'd give the product like maybe a 7 out of 10. Um, I think there's some really cool inserts and there's some, some not so great ones. Um, but I was much more of a fan of the Donner's Optic set that came back and obviously the Panini Prisms uh, as well. Don't forget about the giveaway we're doing if you're into NBA. Thank you so much for hanging around and sticking if you watch this whole thing. Hopefully that gives you an insight um, if you want to start collecting the 2024 Topps Chrome UFC. Till the next one. Thank you so much.